Cam Wyland. I love long books. Those big fat hardbacks that are too heavy to even hang on to and you just have to let them flop open in your lap. There's something so delicious about being immersed in an amazing story and realizing you have 300 pages still to go before you reach the end. Love it. But, of course, this all has a flip side. What I, and the majority of your readers, don't like are long books that don't have to be long. In other blunt words, books that are written by windbags. These are the books that just never seem to be over. The ones that have you counting the many, many pages to the end without ever really seeming to get any closer. Nobody likes these books, not just because they're tedious, but because they're bad writing. And that means that none of us wants to write one of these books. Regardless the size of your book, how do you know if you're running the risk of becoming a windbag? Consider a few of the signs. One, you're trying to write a long book. You're worried you're not going to reach your word count goals, so you're padding your stories of events. Two, you're meandering down rabbit trails and dead ends. This is fine in the first draft, but they have to be edited out. Three, you've given a POV to every single character just to make sure that the readers see everything there is to see. Four, you're going into every little detail of your descriptions, not just in setting descriptions, but in the minutiae of your character's actions. Instead of just saying he crossed the room, you describe every step. And five, the same goes for internal narrative. In fact, I would say it goes especially for internal narrative. You want to establish a credible evolution of character thought and feeling, but in most instances, you're not going to need to spend several chapters telling readers how a character reached a certain decision. When in doubt, opt for brevity. Mm -hmm.